as a mentor i think that you know skill is important but skill will take you to a certain level and after that you have to be mentally strong mentally tough tune your mind to score big runs to achieve bigger things so if you are not mentally tough and you are skillful then i don't think so you can achieve big goals so in my uh, batting so i was not technically correct but i was mentally strong and because of that my uh, mental toughness i scored big runs you know 300 twice then 200 then one day 200 and and other big hundred so so if i was not able to cope up with that uh, you know strong mindset i don't think so i was able to score big runs so we are here as a mentors spend time with the kids so they will learn skills but they will learn the mental toughness and mental tuning also how to prepare you know what to do when you are not scoring runs what to do when you are scoring runs what should be your uh, daily routine uh, to prepare yourself my funda in my batting is very simple so i follow three rules yeah which one i can hit which one i can defend which one i can leave and my short selection was on spot on with these three so which one i can leave which one i can defend and which one i can hit so if you keep it simple and mentally uh, tough and and believing yourself that yes you can hit you can score runs you can hit a good ball also you can hit a bad ball also then maybe you will you, you will get the success in your way so every day in the nets i i'm i'm batting like i'm batting in the game so if i gets out so i walk out from the that's nets. important point because yeah. net is because people take it easy Sorry. absolutely kids play you know hours and hours in the nets bowl hours and hours or bat hours and hours in the nets but they they make a lot of mistakes correct they they got out many times correct so give a challenge to yourself that if i get out done for the day so like okay. if i'm playing one day match or test match if i get out on first ball so my day is finished so i have to wait for next game so similar way if you prepare yourself and tune your mind like that then uh, you are worried about all the time to uh, how you will score runs and slowly slowly you become mentally tough to score runs there's so many kids you know who ask question that you know i'm not scoring runs what to do so i'll tell them that you know make sure you check your batting stance make sure you check your head position make sure check your thought process because what happen when you're not scoring runs you are keep thinking about that last game last ball correct you should not do that correct you should focus on that next ball all the time so even if you got beaten so you should not worried about that ball because you survived that ball so next ball maybe it's a half volley or a short pitch to hit boundaries but if you always thinking about the past it's difficult to uh, play in future or play in uh, present so make sure that you uh, uh, occupied your mind with the positive positive thoughts rather than negatives i think game is the same you know the same the bowler and batsman just the ball change and the clothing change so you need a mindset that you have to understand that in test match one day or t20 which one is a good ball which one is a bad ball and uh, which one is a, is a uh, okay ball to rotate the strike so if you your shot selection is good doesn't matter you play test cricket one day or t20 you always score runs look at virat kohli look at steve smith look at joe root kane williamson they are successful t20 one day and test players Sorry. because their shot selection is better than others yeah and they are mentally tough tougher than others i think mentally strong is important you know so i've seen a lot of player they they don't have a good technique they, their stance is different the bat is coming from outside but still they manage to score runs because they are mentally tough they yeah. have a lot of patience you know i learn uh, from murli dharan that you know if i want to take five wicket haul i have to bowl 30 over 35 over then only i get a five wicket haul maybe once or twice in my life i get got five wicket haul in 10 overs but end of the day you have to bowl 30 overs with patience make sure that batsman will make mistakes and then only you get, you you get the wicket so similar way as a batsman so i have to show a lot of patience to score runs and to tackle the bowlers good bowler or bad bowler doesn't matter bowler is a bowler good bowler or bad ball is matter that's what ball i'm talking about yeah so good ball is a good ball for tendulkar sehwag or kohli or rohit sharma Correct. and bad ball is a bad ball for everyone Correct. so you have to pick the bad ball to hit for fours good ball either you defend it or leave it i practice like that way in in the nets you know uh, especially in my early days so yeah. if i was hitting bad shot in the nets my coach was asking me to come out and you know stay with other boys so i won't get batting if i play badly in the nets Correct. so you have to follow the discipline in the nets and that same discipline plan you carry in the game so i played t20 in 2003 4 when yeah. i have been to play the county cricket so okay. i played the t20 cricket yeah but i you know so i was playing one day as a t20 only <laughs> my first test inning uh, in my first test uh, match i scored 100 against south africa in blue fountain that was always my best innings